Hello, this video is going to help with matrix multiplication and we're going to start with what's called scalar multiplication. It's actually the easiest kind. It's where we're just going to multiply a whole entire matrix by a specific number. So let me give you an example of scalar. And with this one, scalar multiplication, um, you usually see the number like this. Maybe I have three, and then I have one, two, negative four, five, zero, negative one. You see something like this, where you just see the number three outside. And what it's just saying is you want to scale this entire matrix or multiply everything in the matrix. So this two by three matrix is going to stay a two by three matrix, and then you just multiply each number by three. So three times one is three, three times two is six, three times negative four is negative 12, five times three is 15, zero times three is zero, and three times negative one is negative three. And that's it. So scalar multiplication, multiplying by a scale, is fairly easy to do. Now you might have to multiply two matrices by a number and then add them. So it's going to mix in some of that adding, subtracting with this idea of multiplication. Um, and I'll let you, you, you'll be able to figure those out. This is what gets harder, is when you multiply matrices together, like two matrices, and then I left my notes over here. Okay, so for example, for these ones, first of all, they don't have to be identical in size, and actually some identical size matrices can't be multiplied. So for example, if I have a two by two, I'm, or let me see here. I'll just put in some numbers here and I want to times this by a 2 by 1 I actually can so here's what we want to look at if we have a 2 by 2 matrix and a 2 by 1 right 2 by 1 2 by 2 the insides have to match on our matrices so the number of columns matches the rows Right, so must match. That's how you know whether or not you can find um, the, the multiplication of two matrices. So we can find it for these, and the answer is these two. Size of the answer. So we know that this is going to equal a two by one, two by one matrix. And now let's walk through this multiplications and so I can show you how we're going to get this two by one matrix. So the first spot, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first row and we're going to multiply it by the um, column or this, the column here and then we're going to add them to get the first spot and then we take the next one by the column and then add them to get this spot. So bear with me, you end up going this one times this one and add this one times this one and add. So for this first spot, maybe I'll make a little myself a little more room in this matrix here. So I'm going to go one times one, so one times one, plus two times three. Two times three is two times three is six, but I don't want to add them quite yet. And then the next one you would go three times one, so three times one, and then you go negative two times three, so and we're going to add those, negative two times three, and that's actually how you get your two answers. So one plus six is seven, and this is going to be three and negative six, so we get negative three, we add those. So it's kind of tricky, this one times this one, this one times this one, and then add them. This one times this one, this one times this one, add them. Let's do a harder one. So three, one, two, zero, four, five, nine, two. And I want to times that by. Well, if this is a two by four, how many rows must I have 
on my next matrix. I have to have four. So this one's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm very creative. Negative one, negative two, zero, three. And what will our answer be? So this is a four by three. Okay, so two by four, four by three. So we the fours match. So our answer is going to be a two by three. So we know our answer is a two by three. All right, so this has to be a two by three. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, it's going to take a little bit of work down here. So we're going to take this row and multiply it by this column, add to get an answer. Multiply it by this column, add, get an answer. Multiply it by this column, add, get an answer. Then we'll switch to the bottom row and multiply each column separately and I'll get three bottom row answers. So can you kind of visualize it? This one times this one here. This one times this one here. This one times that one here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start with three times one is three plus um, one times two is two plus two times three is six and zero times four is zero and so our first spot here three plus two plus six is eleven so our first spot is eleven and so this is just my scratch work for how I'm gonna do it so the next one is gonna be three times five is fifteen 1 times 6 is 6, uh, 2 times 7 is 14, 0 times 8 is 0. So 15 and 6 is 21, 21 and 14 is what, 35? So that's what I got here, oops, 35. And then the top row times the last one here, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, 1 times negative 2 is negative, oops, plus, uh, negative 2, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 times 3 is 0. So I get negative 3 plus negative 2 is what, negative 5? So my answer there is negative 5. So I've now matched the top row with all columns and got all through the three of those answers. Now I'm going to switch to the bottom row and it has to match with each column as well. So um, I'm just going to draw a line and then I'm going to work on the bottom row here. 4 times 1 is 4. 5 times 6 is 30. 9 Um, sorry, I <laughs> like Mr. Where was I? To, uh, nine times seven is sixty-three. Like, sorry, I had something going on. Okay, two times eight is sixteen. Did you see me pause? All right, then I have to add those together. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use my calculator for adding those ones. Four plus. 30 plus 63 plus 16 is 111, does that see? Oh wait, the first two should have been negative. No, positive, positive, positive. I didn't get the same answers as I did, did I do something wrong? Four times one, five times six is 30, nine times seven, nine times seven is 63, and then 8 twice is 16, so 4 plus 30 plus 63, plus, I don't know, I must have done something wrong when I did my notes, 113. Okay, and then the next one, oh, is that what I did? I mixed them up, oh, goodness. I mixed them up. Now, you see, that's what happens when I get a phone message and I, throws me off. Okay, so four, I was doing the part of this row for some reason. Four times one is four. Five times two is ten. Nine times three is twenty-seven. Two times four is eight. Now you, you guys probably already got this right and we're like, what are you doing wrong? So this one and this one, add that and I get forty-nine. So fourteen, yeah, forty-nine. That's what I'm doing wrong. Now this one and this one, I 
did part of it, but then I messed it up. So 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 6 is 30, which I got before. 63 and 16. And add those all up, and I get 129. Okay, so 20, 30, 50, yeah, 129, 679, yeah. All right, so then the last row here, negative 4. Um, 5 times 2 is negative 10, and then 0 times anything is 0. We need more zeros in here, and 6. So negative 4, negative 9, and then 6 would give me negative 8. All right, so these can be kind of long and a little bit tricky. Um, all right, so matrix multiplication and scalar multiplication is really all you're doing in this section. Just go slow, make sure each row is multiplied by each column and then add to get your answers.